Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach and this is the Roadmap Radar for April 2020. The Roadmap Radar is all about what's new and next in Office 365. We've scoured the Office 365 Roadmap for any new updates so you don't have to. April is a huge month for Microsoft Teams and so it dominates the list this time and we have a couple of new features for SharePoint and Yammer. So let's get started. First we had blur backgrounds and now we can select background images during our video calls. These will be provided by Microsoft to start with, but we should be able to add our own custom images sometime in May. So far the meet now button in channel posts has been tucked away in the toolbar at the bottom of the post window. Starting from late April, we'll see a meet button in the channel header at the top right corner, making it easier for us to start a meeting in a channel. When launching a Teams meeting from a link, users will be provided with clearer options for how they would like to join the meeting. This is gonna be so helpful for people new to Teams. When this update arrives, it will give very clear instructions on what to do next. Download the app, continue in the browser or open in Teams. This will be rolling out from late April. This update will allow us to pop out chat windows and separate them from the Teams app. Multi-window capabilities have already started rolling out and will be complete in May, but for Windows clients only. Mac and Linux updates will follow later. Further integrations with Microsoft Outlook were due to land early February, but have now been pushed out to mid-April. Lots of my customers were looking forward to this, so they'll be glad to finally see these updates, which include the Share Email to Teams feature, where a new button will be added to the toolbar that can forward an email from Outlook to a Teams channel. Microsoft will soon be increasing Microsoft Teams membership capacity from 5,000 to 10,000 members for org-wide groups. This still isn't quite big enough for some of my customers who want to have one team for their whole company, but it's a step forward. This update is going to be switched on for all tenants starting at the end of April and will be complete by the end of May. There was a lot of interest in walkie talkie when it was first announced a couple of months ago. This feature will allow you to use the Teams app on your phone to do real time chat, just like a walkie talkie. So Samsung will release the new phone called the XCover Pro that has a dedicated button on the side that will allow you to press and talk and release to listen. The idea is that frontline workers who currently carry phones and walkie talkies can just have one device instead. And it also means that the phone will be able to securely communicate over Wi-Fi or cellular and have global range. Samsung will start selling the XCover Pro through the Microsoft retail stores starting this month and the walkie talkie feature in Teams will be available in July. This item isn't necessarily useful to everyone, but I thought it was a cool new way of collaborating with Teams, so I included it anyway. It's about Microsoft's partnership with Realware, who make wearable digital devices for industry. They've integrated Teams into their head-mounted Android tablet, so it can be used to enhance what the device can do. In this example, the Realware device is mounted onto a hard hat. The wearer has a small screen and a camera, which are integrated with Teams. Bad news now for those waiting for the new task manager in Teams. This feature was supposed to consolidate all the tasks from Planner, Outlook and others, but its rollout has been delayed. It was due to be made available to the public early this year, but now Microsoft has announced through a blog post at the end of last month that it will be available in the middle of this year instead. SharePoint Spaces was first announced in 2018. It's a new web-based mixed reality platform that will allow us to build modern SharePoint sites 
embed 3D objects into them and then view them with VR headsets. So we'll be able to share 3D virtual spaces and collaborate in them just like we do today with modern sites. Microsoft have announced that SharePoint Spaces is now ready for the public and they'll be rolling out a version for targeted users of Office 365 in April. Microsoft have announced that live events in Yammer are now generally available to everybody. That means you can start using them now. Yammer Live Events is the same concept as Teams Live Events. They're meant for large scale meetings online that goes some way to replacing physical meetings. Yammer Live Events are for these type of meetings where you want to produce with an external app or device like a camera setup and a vision mixer. For example, you might have a leadership meeting where the leaders are together in a studio being filmed and then that video is mixed and streamed to everyone else who joined online with Yammer. Okay, so that's your lot. That's the Roadmap Radar for April 2020. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.